Here's a quick video on how to wire an I Inkbird ITC 106 RL PID temperature controller to directly control a fan without having to have a solid state relay in the mix. So the first thing you do is connect your K-type thermocouple to ports three and four right here. And that's the K-type. And over here on nine and 10, we have the power coming in from the wall. And then also the fan positive lead connected. That's the small red wire. And then the fan negative is connected to port number eight. And then there's a jumper right here from nine to seven. And that's what, when the PID senses the temperature needs to change, it clicks the fan on to rate. I have it set up for running a smoker. So I want the fan to kick on when the temperature drops below a certain level. If you wanted it to go in the opposite, so if you were wanting to cool something off, you would move that small black lead up to number six at the top there. And then the fan would run until the temperature got below a certain level and then it would kick off. Anyhow, we'll go ahead and connect it up real quick so you can see how that works. If I can do this without getting zapped. So the green value is the set value. And the red is the value that I want, or the, is the actual value that the thermocouple is reading. So if I pick this thermocouple up and hold it in my hand, you see the temperature start to rise. And now the fan kicks off as it gets close. Then I'll let go and let it cool back off. So when it's right near that temperature, the PID kicks on and off the fan. And then as it starts to drop, it senses that it's dropping and it'll kick it off and on to try to maintain that temperature. See now it's dropped below, so it'll kick on for a little bit longer. A little longer. And try to gradually, it does that to try to gradually bring the temperature back up. Anyhow, I thought I would show you this since the instructions were not super clear that came with this on how to wire it to directly control a fan. But that's it right there.